welcome to Rafa's garage. Look what we picked up. Mazda Miata. Not really. Ronnie's. Okay. <laughs> but Ronnie has a Miata. Never seen it in my life. But somewhere in Utah, he has a Miata. So he picked up this car only for the rims. Little Stevie's over here. But if you remember him, he has a sick ass M3, a white one. We did the LEDs on it, or the halos on it. So this car got rear ended, or sandwich. Got fucked up. Uh, but we're gonna take off the roll cage. He might keep it. He's gonna keep the rims. Uh, this car also came with some team cold overs, so we're taking those off. He's probably gonna keep those too. Um, we haven't really started up the car, but this car has some aftermarket headers. So the reason we haven't started up is because this got switched in and hitting the alternator. So, we don't know if it turns on. It has battery and everything, so later on we're probably gonna move all this stuff and try to start it up. And then part it out or sell the whole shell after we get rid of all the good stuff on this car. So, taking off the wheels, we're taking off the cold over today. Uh, it should be fairly easy. So, I believe it has a couple of bolts in the top. I'm gonna take off this one right here, this bolt that goes right here, um, and maybe drop the whole control arm from here, and it should come off pretty easy. So I lied, we're actually taking off the roll cage first. Um, Ronnie took off the rims so I, I could get access to this bracket that goes right here. Um, actually this one right here. Um, that way the nuts don't spin while I take them off on the back over here. So you see it right there. That's the roll cage right there. And we got another one somewhere down here. Might gotta take off the seat. But it's right there. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So there it is. Uh, it has a little bracket with the screw and a nut in one side. Sorry, off. Those are the screws right there. Not to do the other side. So this is what it looks on the top. Ronnie's gonna go on the bottom now. We're gonna swap, swap parts. So you do need to put a wrench somewhere here so it doesn't spin. Um, it has three, one right there, one in the back, and one over there. So, he's wrenching right there. And then this is our two of the bolts for the cold overs, which we're gonna do later on right now. But two is out. Time for the hard part. Side, you got three bolts. Let me see them right there. One, two, three. Size 14 for this. Ronnie, what are you doing? Selling parts. Already? What'd you sell? Huh? What'd you sell? Your gas car. Bro. My gas car? All of them. My car will beat you anytime. Anywhere. This one, maybe. <laughs> I wanted a 10 second car, <laughs> not a 10 minute car. <laughs> so I was wrenching and wrenching and it never got loose. Figures out, there's another bracket over here. Right there with those three bolts behind the wheel. So, <sighs> gotta take it off right now. Hey Ronnie, you're supposed to be the expert on this. You have two row cages and you didn't know about this one. I didn't know what I was doing. Uh huh. Sure you did. Okay, I don't have I don't have a wrench there. What are you doing? Okay, delete this shit. So that bracket's off. You see it right there. 
But we're missing one more. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. It's gonna be somewhere behind here. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's down there. Ronnie, what are you doing? Selling more parts, Will. Lying ass. She's taking off the plastic and the seatbelt. Seatbelt 16. We got a 10 here. A 10 somewhere here. And we just move this to the side. Phillips. You can take it off. That's what we're going to do right now. Take it off. Make it easier to have access right here. And you'll see the bolt right now. We just lifted up the plastic. Remove the seat. And you can see the bolt right there. Ooh. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it with the air gun. So... Manpower it is. So this side is out already. Not to do this side. You're up, Ronnie. It's taking forever. So that's one of them. That's the other one. You want the Phillips? Yeah. Actually, no, it's fine. Lazy ass. Off. Ready to take it off, Ronnie? Ready? Yep. Temp number one failed. So now we're doing is taking off this metal bracket right here. That way we don't struggle. So there it is. Roll cage is out. Woo -woo. So taking a little break. Hungry. Going to the liquor store. You want anything? No. No? Yeah, you do. You want some dick? I'm going to see Ronnie's Beamer. His M3. This is his. Probably seen it before already. If you've been on my YouTube channel long enough. E36. It's fucking funny. Might be up for sale pretty soon. Uh, I don't know why he wants to get rid of it. Looks nice, but he might get rid of it. Look what I just found right here. Damn. Fuck. It's nice. Nice, hey, man. I had to do a couple of smocks. Ronnie, what have you done? Nothing. Have you taken out the other side? No. Nope. All right, we're taking off the rears. Uh, the rears are size 14s on the top. Right, Ronnie? Yep. 14 on the top. Um, over here, we got a size 17 down there. I believe so. And... Another 14 over there on top. It's a 14, yep. So we're gonna drop this whole control arm down and then this whole shock should come down pretty, pretty easy. I think these are the easiest suspensions I've done before. Salicas suck balls. Right, Ronnie? Salicas? Yeah. No, I you... like Salicas. Huh? I like Salicas. No, I'm just saying the suspension, take it off. Oh, you never had coils, huh? No. You never took them off? No. Uh, Ronnie used to have a Celica too. Then he traded us with Beamers now. And Miatas. Beamers and Miatas. Bought that real wheel drive, but doesn't even drift. But you you should have seen me <laughs> drifting yesterday when I left. Huh? I was drifting yesterday. Yeah, right. When you with your like three cylinder? When you, when you try to do that whack ass pull with that bad Ronnie. I forgot to tell you something. 
you also have to take off the end link. Ronnie already did it. Uh, size 14 also, no? Yes. Yeah, and it goes up in that one right there. And you're gonna see it drop real quick after Ronnie decides to take off that boat. Stop being on Snapchat. I'm showing people how nobody, to do nobody it. Nobody wants you. They're asking for it. Ronnie's taking off the ending because he wants the ending too. But there it is. Fucking like hours later and shit. It took like fucking. How long did it take you? 10 minutes? Not You're even cool, 10 though. minutes. Come on. 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 We just beat Adam LZ's time right now. <laughs> yeah, he said it. I didn't. <laughs> I'm going to start working on the other side. I'm gonna do it way faster than this guy. Bet. bet. How much you wanna bet? How much you wanna bet? I was taking my time. I wasn't rushing through it. If I rushed uh -huh. it, it would have been like a four minute job. Stupid. You look like a two minute job. Actually, you got the hard one. Bullshit. Yeah, I did. Look. Shit. No. Look at this. What? You got easy access over here. Not so much access over here. Gas lines? Yeah, because of the gas lines. That's not it's the same fucking shit. Bro. Nope. Stop being a little bitch. So the for the past minute, Ralph has been bitching that he got the hard side when it's not even hard at all. It's the same fucking shit. <laughs> no, look. I'm not even gripping it. I'm gripping it like with like two little fingers right here. Look. Instead of gripping it with my whole hand like like you did over there. Well you're used to, you're used to gripping like that, though. Nah, I don't have a dick, small dick like you. Fucking took it out without even taking out this boat. Or the sway bar thing. Faster than your ass. Not even. I helped you too. Yeah, yeah, right. Now we're gonna work on the top or on the fronts. You got two right there. And then down here you have another one here. Probably size 17 again. Um still not sure how I'm gonna take this one off. It's the first time working on a Miata. So probably gonna take off the end links also. Because Ronnie wants them. Um, and people have taken off this long ass bar right there. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it that way. But we'll see. I heard that you could have two people use it, uh, take it off, just loosen that one, this one, and have somebody step on this. It's probably what we're going to try first. Hopefully, it works. Cause we got a fat ass person over there, like, uh. Is that guy over there? Yeah, that guy. So we got one of the coals in the front out. Like I told you, just take off the sway bar link, the top and the, the two in the top, the one in the bottom for the strut, and then just put your weight. If you have two people, put your weight on it, and then this should come down enough so you can take it out. That's what we did. This one, you see, gives you space, but if you bring this more down, that'll work. <laughs> coils are out roll cages out rims are out um yeah, that's about it that's it huh ronnie that's all we doing today that's it, yeah. that's that's it. Shit. i did more than you 
If it wasn't because of me, you wouldn't have got the front coils off real easy. Thanks to daddy right here. All right, man. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'll leave a link to his description on his Instagram. He might be starting a YouTube channel pretty soon. Maybe. Maybe. Psych.